Hi, I'm Starborn. Remember, to be a star, you have to shine your own light, follow your own path, and not be afraid of the darkness, because that's when stars shine brightest. And in fact, we can be talking about some new light right now, because yesterday there was a fabulous new moon in the sign of Libra. And that's why if you've been looking on our website, starborninstitute.org, you would already know that the title of tonight's show is Give Love a Chance. And the reason why you should try to give love a chance this week is because that's what Libra rules. Libra rules love and partnership. It rules all legal forms of partnership, such as business partnerships or marriage. And it also rules harmony, compromise, diplomacy, art, decorating, the law, and contracts as well. So it does rule people getting along well with each other. And it certainly does rule love and peace and balance. And so that is the type of thing that we should be considering this week because it's so well aspected. And the reason why it's well aspected is because there are six, there are eight planets in only six consecutive signs now. So they are bunching up even closer and they certainly are reinforcing and surrounding that new moon yesterday in Libra along with the Sun and Mercury. <clears throat> and that is because Jupiter was in Leo behind that new moon. Venus was in Virgo in late Virgo. It's coming right into Libra soon. And so it was reinforcing the new moon, sort of cushioning it on one side. And then Saturn uh, was in Scorpio right ahead of it. And ahead of that are Mars in Sagittarius and then Pluto in Capricorn. All of these eight planets are direct now. In fact, there's only two retrograde planets, Uranus in Aries and Neptune in Pisces. So things are moving up, moving forward, and the momentum is picking up right now. And yet it is a good idea to give love a chance right now, because when you stop to think about what the alternative is, it isn't half as nice as what love and peace and partnership is all about. So I hope you do consider it very seriously this week. Because you see, it's further reinforced even by planets in the fire signs, which like a lot of action. And that is because today, Jupiter is at 15 degrees of Leo in a grand trine in fire signs. And it is exactly trying Uranus, the other love planet, at 15 degrees of Aries. Uranus rules. Uh, a little higher love, a platonic or a spiritual love. It's the love of doing something. Uranus rules the future and it rules music and space and aviation and computers and electronics, anything that goes through the air, and invention and freedom and rebellion as well. And so it can be that you just love doing something that it's really important to you and that is extremely well favored and I hope you give that a chance because with Jupiter at 15 degrees in precise trying to Uranus also at 15 degrees, it means that you are supposed to be taking on some form of partnership and taking responsibility, not just for what you like, but for what your loved ones care about as well. Because 15 is a number when we add the digits one and five that equals six. Six is the number of Venus. It is the number of love. And it uh, means that you are supposed to take res settle down and take responsibility for others in a balanced and harmonious way. So that's just another reinforcement of the idea that we should all be giving love a chance right now. However, in the fire signs, Jupiter and Uranus are trining Mars in Sagittarius. Mars is a planet of war and Sagittarius rules foreign countries and Mars also rules greed and anger and jealousy and passion. And so with these other two good planets trining that Mars, it simply means that fast action could be taken right now and the result of it might be that it can turn a bad experience toward a good end. It might be sort of lucky if fast action is taken because it could turn a bad situation around real quickly. And that would be good as well. Because you see, uh, 
love is really accented so much right now that I think that in our hearts, all of our hearts, there is a desire for some sort of peace. You could almost think of it as a, a way to uh, just rest and get along with people. It really hasn't been a peaceful year. And in fact, lucky Libras, they haven't had the best year so far because Mars was in their sun sign for seven months. So this new moon really represents a turnaround for a lot of people, including you, because you can make peace if you want to. And the stars are with you as far as that goes because that uh, new moon and the sun and Mercury were so well enforced by Jupiter and Venus right behind them. It simply means that if you get a partnership offer or you get a contract offer or you're in some sort of legal negotiation, it could go in your favor a lot more than you could envision right now. In other words, if someone offers you a contract, there may be some really good reason behind it one that you may not be aware of at the moment, but there's an awful lot of backing for some sort of peace proposal or a contract that's favorable or a peaceful legal settlement right now and a marriage or a business partnership as well. So I hope that you consider all of those things this week. However, not every partnership is going to make it, and that is because Venus in late Virgo is being squared by Mars, remember that dynamic planet of energy and war in Sagittarius. And so there is the possibility that if there is a breakup that is meant to be, it could happen right now. But even that may turn out for the best, and that is because Venus is well aspected and Mars is well aspected on their own. It's just too bad that they're squaring each other right now, meaning that if something has been a little shaky, maybe it's time to have it over. But that doesn't mean you can't find peace and harmony and love with someone else as well. All right, what does this mean to all 12 of the sun signs? Well, Aries. For you, I think that you can be off and running because remember Uranus is at 15 degrees in your sun sign, exactly trying Jupiter at 15 degrees of Leo. And those two planets are trining Mars in Sagittarius. So there is a powerful grand trine in fire signs right now. However, that new moon and sun and Mercury in Libra yesterday were opposing your sun where you have Uranus. What I think that means, since they were so well aspected, but Uranus in your sign is well aspected too, and Uranus is the other love planet. Remember, Venus is one and Uranus is the other ruling higher or spiritual or platonic love. So I think right now, Aries, you really ought to go after something you love. And it can be something that you had considered before, and maybe it hadn't worked out before, but you ought to go back and reconsider it, Aries, because you're expected to get it. And that is why this is an excellent time for you to think about moving on. And that is because Uranus is retrograde, but very well aspected. And even though it's opposed by the planets in Libra, it means that there is going to be uh, some sort of legal settlement or there's going to be some sort of judgment that really favors someone else who's a, a sort of a benign, peaceful person. You may not really like that, Aries. And so if you have a chance to go in a new direction, you really ought to give that a try because you would be successful at it right now. And so the door to your future is wide open, Aries, and I hope you walk through it. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Taurus? Well, Taurus, this is simply a time when I think that you are certainly going to happily benefit from some policy changes or judgments made by other people that are based on the bottom line or on facts or even on good health. And that is because Venus is in Virgo. It's your own sun sign ruler and it's trining your sun. Virgo also rules accounting. And so there can be some good news about an accounting matter or a business matter or even a banking matter that can go in your favor, Taurus, which is wonderful. And also, the money that you've been putting away for a rainy day or for your retirement it can be um, reallocated in a way, in other words, policies could change 
if they did, they would be changing in your favor as well, Taurus. So I think that there can be some good fortune headed your way, and also that could allow you to give love a chance, Taurus, and that is because Venus rules your sign as well as Libra. And so this is a very good time for you to sort of put your money on whatever or whoever you love, because I think that in the long run, that will make you very happy. Good luck. Okay, what does it mean to a Gemini? Well, Gemini, this is simply a time that you are really going to benefit. You should sign a contract right now, Gemini. It would be fair and well-balanced and legal, and it would certainly go in your favor. And the reason why you should do that is because that new moon in Libra, along with the sun and Mercury, your own ruler, we're all trining your sun sign, Gemini, and the Aquarian sun. And so this is a time when you really do need to pick up a great partner, somebody who's very congenial, someone who's very peace-loving. Or if you want to sign a contract or you want to make some sort of a proposal, this is a wonderful time to do it. There could be a contract offer coming your way. Remember, the energy of the planets in Libra are headed straight toward your sun sign. And so right out of the blue, you could get some sort of a contract that would be very fair, not only to whoever's offering it, but to you as well. And so this is an optimum time for you to sign on the dotted line, Gemini. And besides, that would wrap up something that could make you very, very happy for a long time to come. So do give love a, a chance right now, Gemini. You really won't regret it in any way, whether it is working with somebody who's very nice and congenial or whether you are on the verge of winning a legal settlement, which you could be, or it can simply be that a contract would be extremely beneficial for you. So don't get too picky, Gemini. Just say yes. Okay, what does it mean to a Cancer? Well, Cancer, this is simply a time when I think that, uh, you, that your ship has sailed. Cancer. What I mean by that is that I think that since there are eight planets that are right ahead of your sun sign and they're all bunched up in six signs rather compactly and strongly reinforcing, reinforcing the new moon that occurred yesterday in Libra, I just think that this is a time when uh, other people are going to be making uh, beneficial contracts or settlements of some sort and they will be going on in one way or another and I think that there, there is the possibility that you might be left behind. Now it could be for a good reason. It could be that you've been already working on a project and it's about done now. That's what I mean by your ship has sailed. Okay, so people are moving on, but you may not want to move with them, Cancer. You could decide that, oh gee, if you're done with something, oh, it might be a good time for a vacation or a rest instead, and it would be. And that is because the sun and a new moon and Mercury in Libra were squaring your sun, Uranus in Aries is squaring your sun, and Pluto in Capricorn was opposing your sun sign. And so you've had a very busy year, Cancer, and on the whole, it's been a very beneficial year as well. You have gained, uh, either in recognition or financially, this last year while Jupiter was in your sun sign. But that planet has moved on, and so ha have a lot of others, and now it is time for you to rest. So if your ship has sailed, which I think it has, it simply means there might be a contract, but maybe the terms aren't what you want. Or it can be that management is changing their minds or their policies and not considering your finer feelings. Or it could just be that someone else is breaking away and they're going on their way and uh, sort of rebelling and doing their own thing. But I think all of that's going to be all right with you, Cancer, because I think you're ready to take a rest right now. And Saturn in Scorpio is trining your sun, and Neptune in Pisces is too. Your sign is being well reinforced right now, so you're not going to lose anything except the tension and the stress that you've been under for a while as your life does calm down because the ship has sailed. All right, what does it mean to a Leo? Well, Leo... This is certainly a time with Jupiter at 15 degrees of your sun sign trining Uranus, the other love planet, also at 15 degrees in Aries, when you can be very lucky that something brand new just opens up. Or it can be that you really love doing something and you're going to get a chance to be more committed to it. 
And that is because there could be a good partnership offer or a contract offer because the planets in Libra do sextile your sun, Leo. And for that, and Venus is right in between them. And you have Jupiter in your sun sign. So there is the possibility of starting something new or taking it to a higher level that you already love doing. And I think that you should really consider that, Leo, because everyone should give love a chance. It might just be not. Uh, love not for a person but for an activity or the invention of something or just the chance to try out something new even a new piece of equipment would be great and so I think you've got all of that to look forward to lucky you Leo okay what does it mean to a Virgo well Virgo this is a time when I think that you'll be able to see the possibility for a very loving or nice partnership or a great contract or you can be on the verge of winning a legal suit or a legal matter right now since the three planets in Libra were right ahead of your sun sign. If someone else is uh, trying to negotiate a contract or some sort of peace deal or a partnership, you could be a very important backup to them. And behind your sun sign is Jupiter in Leo backing you up. So you're in a very good spot, whether it's you that's moving forward with a lot of momentum right now, or if you're backing someone else up that is doing that, you're still going to be very happy in the long run, Virgo, because Pluto in Capricorn, which is now direct, is trining Venus in your sun sign. So as policies change or management changes, it is going to do you a lot of good. So I think you're sort of sitting pretty right now, Virgo. Congratulations. OK, what does it mean to a Libra? Well, Libra, the new moon yesterday was in your sun sign along with the sun and Mercury. And right behind your sun sign was Venus, your own ruler, and also Jupiter in Leo. And so you've got a lot of very loving backup right now, Libra, which is wonderful. So this is a turning point for you. And it's a turning point that will take you right toward love, Libra, which of course should make you very happy. After a year that has been extremely stressful and very busy for you, and you haven't gotten a lot of things that you wanted, but things are turning around now, Part of it is because you can be in a more loving mood. That's always good for peace and diplomacy. And another part of it is, is that other people are too. Because the alternative to love is hate. Well, who wants that? And the alternative to peace is war. No one wants that either. And that is why we all need to give love a chance right now. But I think you are really going to benefit from that, Libra, because you are well reinforced on both sides of your sign by a lot of other planets. And so, you know, you're not going to let anybody down, but they're not going to let you down either, Libra, as you get sort of lucky right now and you can move forward, which is wonderful. And so I don't think you've got anything to lose. So not only should you give love a chance, but you know, put a smile on your face, Libra, because you're about to turn a corner and go in a much better direction. Congratulations. OK, what does it mean to a Scorpio? Well, Scorpio, Saturn is in your sun sign. And so right behind that planet, which is being tried by Neptune in Pisces, was the new moon yesterday and the sun and Mercury in Libra. So in the background of your life, Scorpio, there is a lot of light shining. And that simply means that people can see that you have a peaceful side or that you are a person that understands diplomacy or you do prefer harmony in your life. And there can be someone or something that you really have your heart set on. And I think in the background of your life, you're going to get it, Scorpio. And that is because you have been patient and very hardworking for a long time, perhaps a, few, a couple of years. And this is a, a period of time now, without having Mars in your sun sign anymore, when you can get some rest and settle down and renew your love of someone or something that can make you very, very happy. And there's more goodness to come for you, Scorpio, because Jupiter in Leo, which is squaring your sun, is still a wonderful planet, which did support that Libra new moon yesterday. And so I think there's more good in a contract that you might want to sign, or there's more good in 
uh, forming some sort of partnership right now, whether it's a marriage or a business partnership. There is more good to come out of that than you realize, Scorpio. So this is a time to give love a chance. And even if it's just in the background of your life, it's going to make you very happy. Okay, what does it mean to a Sagittarius? Well, Sagittarius, Mars is in your sun sign, energizing you and probably making you a little bit anxious and sort of nitpicky as well. But you can be very blessed right now, Sagittarius, because Uranus, the, uh, the love planet that rules platonic or spiritual love, is at 15 degrees in Aries, the sign of new beginnings, and it's trining your sun. And Jupiter is also at 15 degrees in Leo, trining your sun. So there is the possibility that you really can take on a partnership. You might be the one that, that wants to be the boss, but you can benefit from a loving partnership. But remember what partnership means, uh, Sagittarius. It means balance. It means taking responsibility for others and not living for yourself alone, but sort of sharing the load and the responsibility and doing your duty. If you're not up to that right now, then there can be some sort of a partnership that is coming to an abrupt end. And that is because Venus in Virgo is squaring Mars in your sun sign. And when Venus and Mars square or oppose each other, that generally can denote a partnership that's on its way out. And that can be for very good reasons. Maybe something is just done, or maybe you've just had it since Mars is in your sun sign and you do want to move on. You could be blessed if you decide to move on. Doors could open for you. So I wouldn't worry about any sort of a break right now, Sagittarius. It just means you're on to better things. OK, what does it mean to a Capricorn? Well, Capricorn, this is simply a time when I think that you can really have your mind on the small print and on accounting details and on health matters, which I think can be quite a concern to you. Not a bad concern, a good concern. You could be deciding, yes, you really got to do something with um, making your bank book a little stronger or your savings accounts or improving your health in some way. And this is a perfect time to do that. So I hope you give love a chance by loving yourself, Capricorn, and doing something that's good for you. Because that new moon in Libra, along with the sun and Mercury, were squaring your sun sign. And that simply means that somebody else is going to benefit from a legal decision or a partnership or contract offer. And I hope you wish them well, because it might not be you, Capricorn, but it still could benefit a lot of people. And so, you know, we all need to sort of bury the hatchet right now. We need to try to get along with others, because remember, the alternative is quarreling or hate or war, and that doesn't get anybody anywhere. And so this is a perfect time for you if you can't, if you feel that you are not happy with the partnership, I wouldn't express my unhappiness right now, Capricorn. Instead, work on your own behalf. Try to make yourself happy. Give love a chance, even if it's just making yourself a lot happier right now. You can do it. You can also love your bank book and strengthen that right now and your investments, which are all very well aspected. OK, what does it mean to an Aquarian? Well, Aquarius, this is a wonderful and beneficial new moon for you that occurred yesterday because the sun, new moon, and Mercury in Libra were all trining your sun, Aquarius. And remember, your ruler, Uranus, is the other love planet, and it was beautifully aspected because Jupiter was trining it exactly yesterday. And so I think a new beginning is on your horizon, Aquarius, and there also can be a wonderful partnership about to happen or a contract offered and you should sign the contract or it can simply be that someone very nice can be coming into your sphere of influence or there can even be friends from the past who are platonic friends but have always thought a great deal of you and they still do Aquarius so this is a turning point for you as well as there can be a wonderful partnership offer or there can be the resolution of a legal matter that does benefit you. Or there can be a contract that you really should sign, and the timing is perfect to do it now, Aquarius. So something is opening up for you in your future. It, it, it denotes some sort of new beginning. Whether it's for your partner or for you, you benefit either way. Congratulations. OK, what does it mean to a Pisces? 
well, Pisces, you're a person that sort of likes to go along and uh, sort of look at, on the bright side of things and look at the good things. And when you don't see something good, you can sort of kid yourself a little bit, and that's because you don't want to look at the bad things. But this is a time to give love a chance, Pisces. Saturn in Scorpio is trining Neptune in your sun sign, and Neptune is very strong because it's at home in your sun sign for the first time in your life and all of our lives, actually. So you still can make a dream come true, even if you have to work within a constrained budget. Or there can be money around somewhere, or somebody who is an old friend or uh, who can be quite willing to help you, or you can benefit a great deal from people with a lot of experience. They could give you good financial advice right now, Pisces, and that could really benefit you as well. Because Uranus, the other love planet, which is very well aspected right now, is right ahead of your sun sign. And that means something could open up for you quite suddenly, and it would be very lucky, Pisces. So I hope you keep your eyes and ears open and don't drift along right now. Look for people that can be loving or look for a good partner or some sort of good contract right now that you could sign. Because as long as people are willing to give and take, I think they can get what they want. And this is a whole lot better than arguing or being at war or just being selfish. So this is a time when as long as you're willing to give something, Pisces, you could get an awful lot in return. And I hope that you uh, realize that that's the way love is. It goes out and then it comes back in. So I think if you give love a chance right now, Pisces, you could be blessed and you could bless someone else's life as well. So there's a happiness for everyone. So I hope you give it a try. All right. Thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, you know you can uh, see the show anytime you want by subscribing to it on our website, starborninstitute.org. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next week. Bye.